guys, how's it going? I'm Sydney from PhoneDog.com, and this is the LG Octane from Verizon Wireless. It's a messaging phone that follows kind of the same design style as the Envy series of phones. Now, as some of you may know, Verizon is no longer selling the Envy phones, the Envy Touch or the Envy 3, in their retail locations. You can only get them pre-owned on their site. So this phone is kind of the continuation of those, just with a different name. So you can get it from Verizon for $99.99 on contract after a $50 mail-in rebate. So it's a little bit expensive, but it really is a great phone. I've been testing it for about a week and I'm really liking it. I'm gonna give you guys a full review of the Octane and let you know basically the pros and the cons and why I think it's a great messaging phone. So again, it's the LG Octane from Verizon Wireless. I'm Sydney from PhoneDoc.com. Let's go check it out. Okay, so this is the LG Octane, and right off the bat, you can notice that, yes, there are a lot of similarities to the NV series. You know, mostly just the form factor. On the front, you have the dialing pad with just a basic display, and then when you open it up, you have the full QWERTY keyboard and the main display that you're probably going to use most of the time. It is a little bit smaller than the NV Touch. The NV Touch was taller, same thickness, um, but just not as tall. I kind of wish that it were a little bigger just because when you have a small phone um, it just makes it look sort of like a like a cheap kitty messaging phone whereas the Envy Touch it was that perfect size to where it looked like a solid legitimate messaging phone. That's just personal opinion. I do like the design of it. Um, I just wish it were a little larger. It feels very solid in the hand. Um, build quality is excellent. You can see the design here of this number pad has a curved ridge right there, which I think looks pretty cool. The keys are pretty flat. And then you have these chrome accents around the edge. Um, looks very nice. Uh, you know, it has just design features like that that kind of you know give it a nice stylish effect and then you have your volume rocker camera shutter button the micro usb charging port and then the micro sd card slot it doesn't come with a card but it supports up to 16 gigabytes of external memory and then you have the headphone jack. It's not a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, it's a 2.5 millimeter, um, which is a little disappointing, but uh, you do have a headphone jack at least. Getting back to this display here, the external display, this is a 1.2 inch display. Um, you'll mostly use it for just basic functions uh, like viewing, uh, viewing contacts and viewing text messages. You can type messages on this keypad, but you'll more than likely use a full QWERTY keyboard uh, and, you know, and, and dialing. So basic functions like that. And then once you open it up, you have your 2.6 inch display. This is a QVGA display, so it has resolution of 320 by 240. And then on either side, you have uh, two stereo speakers. The keyboard is is nice. I really like it. The the keyboards on the Envy series have always been great, and um, and this one was no different. The keys are very solid. You know, not too hard to press, but they're not the the soft mushy type. You know, I know a lot of people don't like that. Um, I thought it was great. It was very easy to type on. I'll go to a new message. And it does have threaded text messaging. You can have it organized by by uh, contact, which organizes it basically in threaded text messaging, or you can do it um, by time received, in which case it's not threaded. Uh, so you do have that option. But typing on it was very easy. Um, you know, usually I complain about it whenever uh, the space bar is in a row of letters, whenever it's in between the the V and the B like that. Usually that kind of gets in my way, but I decided to just to give it a fair shot, to be optimistic, and it's actually not bad. I, I could type pretty fast on it, as you can see, and you know, pretty much no errors. It wasn't perfect all the time, but the keyboard overall was great to type on. And then you do have a dedicated period key, which is always nice. You'll have to use a function key to get to comma and the question mark. But, you know, that's not too bad. You know, a lot of keyboards or some keyboards don't even have a dedicated period key. So I'm just happy to have that. And then you have your D-pad for navigating. Again, not a touch screen. And then clear, speaker, power in, and send. The clear button is also the back button as well as the backspace. So you can use it for, um, for those functions. A little confusing. Um, you know, I wish they had just called it back, but whatever. No big dealio. And then also on the keyboard, no, we will not save that. You have these uh, shortcut buttons. So this is a shortcut to take you to social networking, social beat. 
Uh, you can access your Facebook account, your Twitter account, and your MySpace account. Um, it works fine, functionality is fine. Again, you're gonna have to pay for the extra data that you use, but as you can see, you know, it's a pretty nice interface, and then you do have the option for it to give you notifications anytime you receive any messages. This shortcut takes you to text messaging. And then this shortcut is pretty nice. It's the shift button whenever you're typing, but whenever you're just in the home screen, it actually it takes you to a favorite contact that you've set up. And you can actually set up uh, multiple favorite contacts for this button. So I currently only have one, um, but you can use that to go directly to the contact, contact and then uh, send them a message or view any messages received. Wow, that was a loud noise. Did you hear that? Anyways, okay, so going to the menu, we'll, we'll check out a couple of the features uh, that the Octane has. You can see there it has Bing Search and then Media Center. You do have access to Vcast Music with Rhapsody, so you can use that to um, you know, download any songs or ringtones that you would like. Uh, you can, of course, you know, use the, the USB cable to transfer any songs that you already have. Then you have mobile email. The mobile email app is, is pretty nice. I like the design of it. You can see it looks very organized. You have the tab up here. You can set up multiple accounts. So you have your tab up here uh, for, e for different email accounts and then the emails that you have. Um, I think it looks great. It has a very nice design. Again, you can set up notifications. Going back to the menu, um, again, there's Social Beat and VZ Navigator. So speaking of media, the camera does have a 3.2 megapixel camera with autofocus and a flash. Um, performance was okay. I would have expected much better considering it is a 3.2 megapixel camera and it has autofocus. You know, whenever I think of phones like the LG View Plus, which has, you know, same specs, camera quality was was great. Again, also the Samsung Craft, which has a three megapixel camera, autofocus and a flash. The pictures, they came out great. This, it's kind of mediocre. It's not really what I expected. Uh, not only that, but I had some problems with taking a picture, finding a comfortable way to take a picture. Um, but it you know, really wasn't what I was expecting. Underneath here is the battery and uh, it ships with a 950 milliamp hour battery. And whenever I first read that, I thought, you know, that's definitely not gonna be enough. But it turned out to be really great. Um, it lasted nearly a week, uh, seven days on standby uh, with some basic use. And then once I started using it, you know, obviously the battery went down. Um, you'll probably get about two and a half to three days of standard use. So battery life was excellent. I was definitely very pleased with that and uh, have no complaints about it. So that's pretty much it, guys. It's the LG Octane from Verizon Wireless. And overall, I think it's a great messaging phone. There were a couple of things that kind of bothered me. Like I said, you know, personally, I just wish it were a little larger. Not a big deal, though. And then the camera, you know, wasn't quite what I was expecting, not quite up to par. Uh, with other cameras with same specs. But as a messaging phone, it's great. If you loved the Envy phones, if you liked that form factor, then you're gonna like this one. It has a great physical keyboard. I could type very fast within minutes. Um, I loved it. I think it's one of the best keyboards I've used. So go check it out, guys. It's available from Verizon for $99 after a $50 mail-in rebate. A Little bit expensive, but I think it's worth it. Um, if you don't want a smartphone, but you still want a phone that has features and if you do a ton of texting, I think it's a great option. So go check it out. Thanks so much, guys, for watching. Uh, be sure and check out PhoneDog.com for more news, updates, and reviews. I'm going to post my written review on this site within the next few days. Also, check out our Facebook page. Right now, we are giving away up to 100 iPads, as well as two tickets to the 2011 Super Bowl. So that's a pretty big deal. You can check out our Facebook page for more information on that. If you'd like to follow me on Twitter, you can. My screen name is It's My Job to Know, so go and check that out. You can ask me any questions that you would like. Also on our Facebook page, um, every Friday we have editor chats at 4 p.m. Eastern time, so come and check that out, and you can chat with us and ask any questions. I'm done blabbering now. I feel like there's so much that I have to say at the end of each video. It's like a whole two minutes that I just talk about promotions and stuff. But thank you so much, guys, for staying on until the end. I'm Cindy from PhoneDog.com, and I'll see you guys later.